size 11s. He'll be back in The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. We know she went to the Bomber Club. The bartender there, he, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm going to have to live with that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around nine. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? The note by the phone suggests you met her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the tramp and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. <laughs> you're awful hot under the collar for an innocent man, Mr. <laughs> What's this bunker? <laughs> Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. 
You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, though. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. This officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. This officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. The 211 in progress and shots fired. Enter to handle code 3 and identify. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, Phelps. I've warmed them up nicely for you. Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? 